Building externals for pure data requires a C compiler. On Windows, installing a C compiler can be a bit tricky. Luckily, CodeBlocks is a free IDE that has a binary which will install a C compiler on Windows. On the website for the downloads page for CodeBlocks, if you scroll down under the Windows, XP, etc. category, you'll notice some italicized text. It says, if unsure, please use CodeBlocks 16.01 MinGW setup. Well, that is the file that has the C compiler. And so that is the binary that I'll be using in this video. Let's head to the file explorer. And here I've got a folder I've set up for our project called PD external C. It has the pure data source code in the pure data master folder. And it also has a test PD folder, which I've set up for the testing of the external in pure data. If I double click main.pd, and if we go to the PD window, it says couldn't create and as well, you can see the dashed lines around Polybang. Let's go ahead and close this. Now I will head to CodeBlocks and let's create a new project. File, New, Project. The type of project we want to create is under the All Categories and Shared Library. And we want to make a C project. Its title will be Polybang. And I'll make sure that I create it within my project folder. Choose Next. Here we want to make sure that the compiler is the GNU GCC compiler, which it is. And we really only need the release configuration. We're not going to create a debug configuration. Now I'll head to the management pane and let's open the sources tree and double click on main.c. This is the boilerplate for the C files in code blocks. We'll just highlight everything and choose Delete, then Save. What we need to do is we need to import the pure data headers into our project. So I'll go back to the file explorer, head up a few levels, go to the source code for pure data, head to the source folder, and then look for m underscore pd dot h. And there it is. I'll double click to open it in code blocks. Now highlight everything, copy it to the clipboard, and then I'll close the file. Let's create a new header file. So new file, that's of the type C, C++ header, and we'll title it m underscore pd dot h. Let's make sure it saves within our project folder, and it does. Then the most important thing here is to make sure it is added to the active project in the build target. Choose finish. With this created, it's now open, and it's under the headers folder here at the left. Let's highlight everything, paste the contents from the clipboard, which is from the other pure data headers, and choose save. We could have easily just imported the pure data headers from the source code, but I'd rather just have them in my project file directly. Let's head back to main.c, and this file is where we would write all of the code for our external. Let's head back to the file explorer and head up until we find polybang.c. I've already gone through how to write this external in Xcode. It's the same process. So I'll open this file and I will copy its entire contents to the clipboard, head to main.c and paste, then save. Let's close these extra files. At this point, it would make sense that we could build the file and generate the DLL. Let's try it. Build, build. Problem is we get all of these undefined reference errors. That's because we need to do a few more steps to set up our project to build a DLL that we can use as a library in pure data. So we'll go to project, properties, head to build targets, and let's choose the output file name field. And we're going to title this just polybang lowercase. Uncheck these auto generate prefix and extension. And then make sure under build target files, our two files are checked, the pure data header and the main.c file. Now we'll choose OK. And then we'll go back up to project, choose build options. And this is where it can get a bit tricky. We need to tell the linker where certain libraries for PD are. And these libraries aren't found in GitHub. And they're not found in the pure data source code. Instead, they're found in the installation folder of PD on Windows. Head to linker settings and make sure that polybang is selected as the top level at the left. 
Under Link Libraries, choose Add, and we'll click this box. And here we want to go to our installation folder for PD, and this might vary based on your installation. My installation is in Program Files x86, PD, then head to the bin folder, and you'll want pd.lib. Choose Open, and in here you don't want to keep this as a relative path. Choose No. That'll make it an absolute path. With that selected, choose OK. And then we have to add one more file. Choose Add, the box to open the file explorer, head up a level, and in the PD folder, we'll head down to Source and PD.A. Open, we don't want a relative path. Choose OK. And now we're done with setting the linker settings. We'll choose OK, head to Build and Clean, now, let's try to build it again. Build and build, and you'll see it built with no problems. Let's head to the File Explorer, and you'll find it within the Code Blocks folder, bin, release, and there it is, polybang.dll. Let me go ahead and copy it. Now paste it within the test PD folder, and let's run main PD again. Make sure that you've shut down PD before you start this again. And now there we see it, Polybang's ready to go, and it's purely functional.